Hi guys, I hope you're well. My name is Thomas Blakemore and I'm a primary school teacher in Dubai. This video is going to explore a fantastic Google Chrome extension that can really support inclusion in the classroom. As a dyslectic teacher, I know that there are times where technology has really supported me to enable my writing and this tool will absolutely support and accelerate learning in the classroom, so it's well worth a watch. The platform is called Read and Write for Google Chrome. To download it, you're simply just going to search Read and Write for Google Chrome and then you'll be able to download it. You can see for me it's already installed and then from there you'll be able to scroll down to read and write and you can pin it to your tabs. From there when you're on Google Docs, that's what it works with, Google Docs, you'll see that you get this weird purple puzzle piece that appears up in the corner. As soon as you tap on that it opens up a range of different supportive tools that we're going to explore in this video. So straight away this tick is called check it. If I tap on this and enable it, it takes a little bit of time, but it will start to look through and pull out the different bits in purple, which just need a little bit of something to look at. Straight away here, I can see that Aviator, although it's been picked up by Google Docs, has been also picked up by the Check It, and I just need to use my Grammarly extension to change that. Again, brilliant for inclusion. This tool here is called Prediction. Uh, leaving that on, it can help with things perhaps predicting different words that you might want to put in the future. So here you can see, well, female is going to be number one, as it's done here already. But if you're thinking of, if you're stuck on ideas, for example, it will just give those predictions of what that next word should be. Uh, this one here is dictionary. When you open up the dictionary, it's just going to give you a definition of what that word is. There is a picture dictionary, which I think is great. If we look at female here, it gives you a picture of what a female is in a nice form. Of course, I can click on a different word here and put fly. You've got fly as an animal or fly as in the action, uh, which is great. My personal favorite for when I'm doing something like reports is this here, and this is the play function. I need to make sure my things are turned up. Earhart's first solo flight across the Atlantic took place on the 20th of May, 1932, flying from Harbour Grace, New... As you can see, it's brilliant because it will just simply read through that. I can then stop that as and when I need to. It's a great tool. Now, one thing you can't do is speed up or slow down the different speeds of the way that they read that back. You can't change the voice. That is something that you can do with Immersive Reader. If you haven't yet checked out that video about how to use Immersive Reader, make sure you do that in the top corner. Again, a brilliant inclusion tool too. Although it's already available through Google Forms anyway, where you can put in voice typing, this tool here is called Talk and Type. So you can talk and that will type out. This tool here is called Screen Masking. So if you've got lots of different text, you can simply mask the screen and you'll be able to kind of scroll through different sections. This is great if you've got a zoomed in section two. And then from there, you can translate different sections. Again, if you've got children who have English as an additional language, you'll be able to translate that too. Although the highlighter tool is of course available using Google Docs, through this, in my opinion, it is significantly better. When you highlight certain words, you simply go and highlight the words as we are doing here. And then from there, depending on what you want to create, you can create a vocabulary list. So if I create a vocabulary list of all the yellow words here, it's going to make a specific vocabulary list. And of course, if this is a reading comprehension lesson, this is brilliant for supporting those children who have those additional needs. On top of that, there are some other great tools too. Uh, this one here will just simply collect the highlights and just put it into a bit of a Word doc. Uh, this one here will help with children creating a voice note. This one is great. If we click on this with, if we highlight all of this and then click on this as a separate area, children can read certain parts of the text and then once they've done that, they will be able to then send it over to the teacher too. Read and Write for Google Docs is a tremendous add-on and can support inclusion in the classroom. I believe it's free to just tack onto the back of Google Docs and it's definitely worth checking it out. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you go and check out other EdTech videos too. I make a range of different videos each week, so make sure you subscribe to see future videos too. Make sure you go and check out my website and email list and hopefully I'll see you in another video. Until then, I'm out.